Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall see a question from June 2015 consisting of 4.75 marks. So, uh, for this question, we need to determine which of the following polynomials out of these four polynomials, which one are irreducible over the indicated rings. So, we need to tell this over reals, this over rationals, this over integers and this over finite field, right? So let us get started. So the first polynomial is of degree 5. So what test we can apply on to this? Oh, and we need to check it for over R, right? Uh, so you might be thinking we do not have any test to check whether the polynomial is irreducible or reducible over R. So well, you know, there is a um, fundamental theorem of algebra which says that every polynomial with complex coefficients has exactly n roots but if we have uh, uh, coefficients in real we can say that it has at most n roots right so uh, moreover if the roots are complex in nature they occur in pairs say if a plus oeta b this is a root then a minus oeta b must also be a root so whenever there is a, a complex root, its conjugate is also the root. Therefore, the complex roots, they are all, always even in number. So now you see the degree of this polynomial is 5. That means we should have at least one real root for this polynomial, right? So this you know by the results. Therefore, if you have one real root, say a, then x minus a would be a factor of the given polynomial. You do not have to calculate what is a over here because that is not uh, the thing that we are looking for. We are only looking whether the polynomial is reducible. This polynomial is reducible or irreducible. So now you have x minus a as a factor. Therefore, the polynomial should be reducible in nature, right? So now this polynomial is reducible, therefore this option A is incorrect, right? So this option is incorrect because they are asking for irreducible polynomial, right? So let us move on to the second one. This polynomial, this is of degree 3 and they are asking whether they are uh, this is irreducible over Q or not. So now we can apply mod p irreducibility test onto this polynomial. You may go for any other also, right? So uh, what does this test say? It says that if p is any prime number, then we, uh, we reduce this polynomial onto some other polynomial f of x in which the coefficients of this polynomial, whatever the coefficients are, they are reduced modulo p, right? And if the reduced polynomial fx bar, this is irreducible over z px, that is p model, uh, right, integers modulo p, then the original polynomial fx is irreducible over q. So this is the test. So let us see, and we need to find this p. If we find any p such that this thing happens, then, then our original polynomial is irreducible over q. So in this case, p is 3. If we take p is to, uh, 3, we have to check this by our own what p should we take, right? So our polynomial, this f of x, which was having coefficient 1x cube plus 2x square plus 1x plus 1, right? This polynomial, say this is f, f of x, this is reduced to this polynomial. Now, uh, when you divide 1 by 3, you will get the remainder as 1. So, this remains unchanged. When you divide 2 by 3, you will get the remainder as 2. This remains unchanged. When you divide 1 by 3, again the remainder you will get as 1. So, this is also unchanged. When you divide 1 by 3, again the remainder is 1. Therefore, this polynomial is same as this polynomial when we take p to be 3. So, there is no change. No problem in that. And but now we need to check the irreducibility of this polynomial over z3. 
and the elements of z3 are 0 1 and 2 therefore let's check it one by one so uh, in z3 what we can do we can look for its root so we can check for f of 0 so now f of 0 comes out to be 1 which is not equal to 0 mod 3 therefore this is not a root again for 1 this is not a root for 3 uh, for 2 this is also not a root you, I hope you can do this right so this comes out to be 5 and in mod 3 you just have to divide 5 by 3 and the remainder is 2 therefore this is also not equal to 0 mod 3 right therefore the given as there is no root for this polynomial f x bar in z3 right therefore by the above test this is irreducible over z3 and by the above test the original polynomial fx that is also irreducible over rationals right so this option is correct so option b is the correct option so this is the correct option let us move on to th option number c so option c we have in option c we have a polynomial with degree 3 right one second yes we have a polynomial of degree 3 over z right so uh, we can apply eisenstein's criteria over here all the coefficients are in in uh, are integers right so we can find any prime number p such that all these conditions are satisfied so uh, by hidden trial method you will see p is equal to 3 satisfy all these p is equal to 3 does not divide p square that is 9 does not divide the constant term right then p which is 3 divides this term p divides minus 6 this term p divides this term 3 right and p does not divide 1 so all the conditions are satisfied therefore the given polynomial is irreducible over q now they are asking over z we have a result that irreducibility over q implies irreducibility over z this result was given by gauss so this thing is also true right so the given polynomial is irreducible over z so this option is also correct let's move on to our last option which is uh, the polynomial of degree 4 and we need to check it over this field right so this field has only two elements 0 and 1 so we may check for its root if we found a root we uh, say that this is reducible otherwise we'll have to look for another methods right so f of 0 would be it comes out to be 1 which is not 0 mod 2 and again f of 1 comes out to be 3 which is equivalent to 1 mod 2 which is also not equal to 0 mod 2 therefore we do not have any root over here so we cannot conclude anything from here right Be uh, because uh, the degree of our polynomial here is 4 and the result is valid only for polynomials with degree 2 and 3 remember that right so we cannot conclude the polynomial is irreducible from here so we have to check for its factor manually in z2 right so uh, what would what could be the factors of polynomial with degree 4 it could be either of degree 1 it could either be of degree 2 of degree 3 they will automatically be obtained when you check for degree 1 right so for degree 1 what are the possible uh, values so now we are looking for degree 1 that means this thing x uh, the coefficient of x should be non-zero so this cannot be the case the only possibility is you have 1 over here and uh, 0 over here right another factor that we could take is 1x plus 1 so these are only the factor uh, 1 degree factors of this polynomial which may which may be a factors right these are the only possible terms so we'll check for one by one so you clearly saw that by long division of the given polynomial this was the given polynomial when you divide this by x you will get the remainder as one which is not equal to zero mod two therefore this is also not a factor and you may similarly check for this one this is also not a factor so again we'll move on to degree two for degree two we should have this uh, coefficient of x square as non-zero that means it should be one right because we are looking for coefficients in z2 
therefore the coefficient could only be 0 and 1 right so this has to be 1 this is fixed now you can change the coefficient of x and the constant terms the coefficient of x firstly i'll take it to be 1 1 then 1 0 then 0 1 uh, one case is that we can take it both to be 0 0 so in that case we'll have 1 into x square plus 0 x plus 0 right so again x square this is not a factor because we saw x is not a factor again this thing could be written as x into x plus 1 this is again not a factor because x is not a factor we already checked for this so we we are left only to check for these two so we can check them one by one so let's uh, look uh, one by one so let us look for this factor when you divide this polynomial with this polynomial you will get the remainder as 0 right so we got a factor for this polynomial therefore we do not have to look for another factor this is not required as of now because you have limited time in questions therefore now we have a factor for this polynomial therefore this polynomial is ir, uh, is reducible over z2 right therefore this is also not a correct option so the only correct options are let us have a look this is only b and c this is the incorrect option this was the correct option right so the correct options are b and c well that is it for this video. Thank you for watching.